really going through this thing, you know, who are like, but I guess they ain't going to admit that either. Like, what are you doing? Nobody's getting on the, on this show saying I had Corona just two days ago. And I'm going to tell you, <laughs> you know, and it's really a serious matter. When you think about it from that aspect, it's really, it really is a serious matter. But at the same time, and at the same time, we just need to realize that everybody is going through this. We all have to switch up how we do things. We need to make sure that we're safe. We're, we can have fun, but we still need to make sure we're wearing our mask. We're um, washing our hands. You know, it's a part now it's a part of our our outfit, you know, like our just our daily routine. When I mm-hmm. get my clothes out, I have to make sure I have my mask ready to go right. and put that in my, you know, put that in my purse, put an extra one in my car. And, you know, it's that's just what it is. And in terms of dating right now, just take your time with it. You know, whether you're a male or a female, take your time with dating. It's no rush. If you rushing it, it's not right anyway. So mm-hmm. Corona, again, is forcing everybody to just take your time, get to know the person, you know, uh, get to know their hangups and their hangout spots and how they do things. And then um, if that conversation is good on the phone, go ahead and step it up and do that virtual thing. If that virtual thing is looking right, then go ahead and meet up and and meet up in a public place where you still are, you know, wearing your mask when you get there, eat, have that distance between you and just take your time with it. It's a good time. It's a good. This is a good season to take your time and stay classy. It's a good season for that. So, All right, Corona, it makes you slow down and take your time. You can really take the time to get to know somebody right now. So yes. in this environment, are people still going out on dates? I mean, like going to Applebee's or whatever, wherever people go, just in light of distancing and, and particularly someone they just met, let's say on Twitter or something like that. Are people still doing that kind of stuff? Not, not that I know of. I mean, I don't know anybody that is taking that risk. Personally, mm-hmm. I don't know anybody that's doing that. Um, everybody is taking a little bit. You know, everybody's real cautious about how they move right now. Sure. So I don't know anybody like I just met you on Twitter. Um, let's go eat at Applebee's. Mm-hmm. I don't know anybody doing that right now because, you know, it's too serious. Right. I, I tell you that piece of cake, that piece of cake is not worth the Corona. So that, right. that coffee is not worth Corona. It's do you, not. Do you think that Corona has changed the dating scene forever? Because I, I know I know we've been I, I, laughing and joking, but in all seriousness, do you think that particularly with if you're watching the debate last night and um, uh, Kamala Harris said something really interesting, they were asking her, would she take the vaccine? And she said, if the medical professionals said, yes, yeah, she would do it. If Donald Trump said, said, do it. Absolutely not. So, you know, in theory, if they came out with a vaccine, let's say around Thanksgiving. Do you think that that even with the vaccine out there, people are going to go right back into the whole social scene? Or do you think people are going to take it easy? I think it's going to be both. I think some folks, are, you know, you're going to have some folks are going to push the envelope. You got folks out there now. Right now. Right. That are still you arguing do. over, you know, you got people who don't believe that this is real. Um, that you know, And then you got other the, the folks that kill me are the ones that are like, this is a conspiracy. I said, I don't care what it is. I don't want to die from it. Right. <laughs> if it's a conspiracy or not, folks are dying. So you want to take it, but you know you're always going to have. As they say, you can't save everybody. You can only give people the information, and they can do with it what they want. You know they'll 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 be who they're going to be. But I think Corona's changed not only dating but everything. I think uh, it's changing everything as well. Yeah, we, we're going to be you know, yeah, like so it's so unknown. Right. Like every. A, you can't only get it one time. Now I heard you can get it twice. Like right. it's, it's like you really don't know what to expect from this. She's her own beast. Yep. Wow. She, she is bad. So and the, and the mm-hmm. fact that when you go to the restaurants and you want to go go with a group of people that you already know right. and that you know they're they're COVID free mm-hmm. because it's the same group. Like I hang around the same small group. It's the same small group, and so. You know, and I've already had a COVID test, so that's just what it is. But I think that when you, even when you go dating, look at how far everything away. I mean, I, I personally like the distance 
between, you know, when you go somewhere to eat because you used to go somewhere and you could hear the person conversation like, well, they be quiet. They talking all loud. I can't even get into this conversation good or worried about who's going to have your, your, hear your conversation and try to, you know, you're trying to have a private conversation. So everything has changed even in terms of what it looks like when you go somewhere. Um, if you have a party, a nice size party, maybe it's a couple of the people double dating. It's hard to get that group together. Everything is very different now. And so it feels different. It looks different. Um, the process to be able to go somewhere. I went to Grits the other day and it was, I couldn't just walk in. You have to wait. You have to, you know, stand at the door and wait outside. It was a nice process, but everything has changed. Right. And so, wow. yes, I definitely think yeah. it's going to impact dating as well. Mm-hmm. Wow. Well, folks, every now and then somebody's going to slip. You know, you know how you tell people just just the nature of being human. Folks are just going to slip off like, you know, Simi was talking about. She has the same group. But, you know, like when you when you tell somebody something, say, yeah, don't tell nobody. I'm going to just tell you this. You know, everybody's got that one somebody they're going to tell. <laughs> so, right. And then they and, got that one yeah, somebody. <laughs> yeah, and everybody. And then it's, it may it may take a longer time. But it's gonna have every now and then somebody gonna break off of them groups. <laughs> they ain't gonna right. tell you, but they gonna they gonna peel off and and do something different, do something a little strange. They ain't gonna tell you, and then they gonna come back in and say, "Please, Lord, please don't let me, don't let me in, no, don't let me I messed up, please. Let me let me be able to stay with the group. Let me stay with the group." And we hope not, but you know, it's one thing when it's gossip. It's another thing when it's you know people's health involved. Um, right. You no, know, that you gotta. You know, if if you are going to step off, at least do your friends a favor, and 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 back up for a minute. You know, just just set yourself out for for a couple of weeks just to make sure that you're all right, or get yourself a test or something. Don't go in there and risk other folks' lives. Who well, I had some you to be doing what it is that you know. That's right. And, and you know, we had some comments about the um, about the wings and. Um, <laughs> And somebody said that the wings at 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 Fuso were nasty. So I'm not. That's I'm, what I heard too. That's what I heard. And From and my East and, and somebody also said jail enough. jailbirds have callous hands. <laughs> so, so, so I don't know what that's all about. Yeah. Yeah. Let me see. You gotta touch that's their true. hands. Make sure yeah, they. they, they, they Doctor Mitchell, stop. would you like to comment on that? <laughs> put a hitch in her get along you know i'm just saying some women <clears throat> some women don't mind a man's hands being a little rough because it's an indication that he really has a job all men don't have rough hands and that's fine and it's acceptable but mm-hmm. every now and then you have somebody that say they do construction and they don't right. have one callus anywhere to be found on their right. hand right mm-hmm. and i just you know so some women you know you want to kind of hold their hand and oh you know everything is new and this is nice and okay you do work construction I feel these knuckles and this you know that callus all right but you know you can have nice nice hands to still work construction you holding the signs out telling them to slow down and stop you know just saying spending that sign right Right. Right. he's just carrying the water he's just carrying the water he's not working construction the real he's just carrying the water if he don't have a callus on his hand (laughs) Yeah. If you see the mint, he 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 not he just carrying a water bucket. That's all he doing on the site. So it, so the 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 hand should and of course in the COVID environment, people couldn't get their their the haircut. They couldn't get um they couldn't get their nails done and their toenails done. Now would would you have a problem with that? With um and and I think this is one of the things the guys were talking about. You know, meeting girls and their toes are hanging over their their shoes and stuff, and like cutting up rap. and cutting tearing up. up. Yeah, because my boy said some girl came in his house and tore his carpet up. You know, <laughs> got all kind of smags. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so he said, sound yeah. like, sound like Sammy Doctor Davis. Mitchell, did did we lose you? Having a party? <laughs> no. <laughs> I just never. I have seen some bad feet. <laughs> Doing corona. Yeah, I can't. I can't mess but, with a but, guy that but, got bad but, fingernails <laughs> and bad feet. That is. No, but according to my boy, though, her yeah. toes were hanging over the sandals, and she was yeah. hanging on a tree limb. 
I mean, you know. that. <laughs> no. I'm not, oh I'm my not goodness! With I'm not with him. I'm not with you, Chief. Not today. No. That's what I heard. I'm just saying. Emily, basically, she wants to know what about abstinence? Just stand to yourself and figuring out your own situation until we come through the situation. Figuring out your own situation. I like mm. that. Right. There. That's what we just said. You're you are your safest sex partner. That's what it says. That's right. That's what it says. That's, that's not what that, but so that's not what abstinence is. Yourself, that, that's, that's not abstinence. Right. No. That is not abstinence. Well, that's not abstinence. Not, that is no. not abstinence. Abstinence oh. is when you refrain from, from having everything. Oh that. I yes. thought that was that stuff you rub on your leg. Okay. No, that's the Ambersol. Oh, okay, that's it. All right, <laughs> thank you. I think that's the. I think that's the number one. I think that's the number one way to go. To be honest with you, um, the abstinence right now. That's that's a good thing. You know, you know my background. I'm like, I think that's a good thing. You don't know people, this and that. That's good. Be abstinent. That is the perfect way to go. You don't have to worry about Corona, syphilis, chlamydia, Club Med. Um, none of that sneaking up on the scene. Did you say club none med? She said club. She med. said club med, didn't club she? Med. Wow. <laughs> okay. Club med. That's another name. <laughs> club med. I'm thinking that's what it sounds like. Cold oh word. man. Okay. I'll she take got, a word for it. I mean, med. you know, well, I don't know that. No, you don't. No, you don't. Nope. No, you don't. I ain't saying nothing. Nope. Stacy. <laughs> saying the word. Stacy sure agrees. She believes that's what it was for to slow us down and make us take a look at our surroundings. Okay, I've seen enough of my damn surroundings. I've been, <laughs> it's been six damn, it's been almost a year. I've seen enough. I, I need some new surroundings. I need some new surroundings. I'm sure I'm not by myself. I'm speaking for other people. Sure. They are tired. They are sick and tired of being inside. And what are you doing over there, Chief? What's all that clickety clacking? Something's going on. What did you say? No, I, I, think, I think it's a good time to be by yourself in terms of look. Women and men always say, I don't have enough time. I don't have enough time. I, if I had enough time, I would learn how to do this. I would learn how to do that. Well, y'all had enough t- a time to learn how to cut your own head, hair. Some of you should be real skilled right now. You had right. enough time to learn how to cut your own hair. You had enough time to do a couple of sit-ups and push-ups. You had enough time to, the women, we, we had to get it together. We, mm-hmm. we had to learn how to uh, gel these edges down. We had to learn how to go back to the the natural look and be okay with, you know, being natural. I start wearing, I mean, I got, you know, I got my deep in today, but I had to go back to my natural hair, which which was funny because a lot of people love my natural hair. But we had to go back to the basics, and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, We weren't able to go. So what we needed, what it was teaching us, what Corona taught us was we pay a lot of attention to getting things done when we ourselves need to learn how to do that. Take take the time. We had a lot of time. If you wanted to date, guess what? A lot of men have heard this. You don't know what you want. You don't even know what you want. You coming for me, you don't even know what you want. Well, figure it out. Well, a lot of men should have had a time had the time to figure out what they wanted in a relationship. What kind of woman do you want, you know, do you want this kind of woman? Do you want a Cardi B or do you want a Christian? You want a Nicki Minaj or you want, you know, what you want? What do you want her to look like? What do you want her to sound like? What do you want her to be able to bring out in you? What do you want her, her character to look like? What do you, all that stuff. And we all had enough time during Corona to start working on ourselves and the stuff that wasn't right, get it together. So that was a good thing about trying to date. Some of us realized, guess what? You don't need to try to do nothing. You need to try to figure out your life. You trying to date and you a mess. That's what you are. So just stay home, start journaling and getting your life together because you meeting all these knuckleheads or he meeting all these chicken heads and it's not adding up. But the problem is you right up in the mirror. It's you. Get it together. So Corona was good. I mean, I started working out again. Um, I had to bust out my old pedicure uh, foot spa. What about you, Shannon? As soon as I was able to get my feet done, I went. I'm not. Like, yeah. I'm sorry. I've been to the beauty shop already. Uh, Shannon, were you tearing up your carpets? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Running around weed whacking. Yeah. Right, I said, "Mommy, go out." <laughs> said, "Mommy was out. I, I mommy was out cutting the lawn with her feet." Shannon has cute feet. I I seen her feet. 
You, you know what I'm saying? Grass. You <laughs> look like she a had long. to.